Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Diamarotic and today I'm going to compare my recently replaced graphics card with a new one. I built my PC 6 years ago, in 2010, for something around $1800, according to exchange rate from back then. My old GPU is Radeon HD 5870, and it served me quite well all these years. Naturally, over the course of time, as newer games were published, my gaming experience was getting gradually worse. With the recent release of the new GeForce GTX series, I have decided to make a replacement for my good old GPU, especially that cooling of my old card got particularly loud some time ago. My new card is GeForce GTX 1070. I've chosen MSI Gaming Edition to be more specific, as its cooling system looks very trustworthy and quite easy to clean. The background footage from the Overwatch is my gameplay on the new GPU and I must say it looks good to me. Another huge asset of the new GeForce is the ability to record using Shadowplay, the software provided by Nvidia that uses hardware supported live video encoding. Basically what it does is to allow recording in very good quality with small CPU usage. Which is good for me, as my 6 years old Intel i7 could be easily overburdened with recording of some more demanding games. Let's see the difference in the recording quality using everyone's favorite, Skyrim. As we can see, the image on the right is more clear and its colors are brighter. It is so mainly because of the difference in capturing software used and its settings. To skip to the end of the Skyrim comparison, use the annotation. Hey, you! You're finally awake! You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. And they've captured you. Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be the home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor, and it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We need to go inside the house. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa! Yes, Papa. Get the prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? 
Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, kinsman. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord and the Rags! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds! As we could see, the quality of the recording made with the new GTX 1070 is visibly better. The second comparison I've made features some scenes from Grand Theft Auto V. The old GPU allowed me to barely run the game on lowest settings in the native resolution of my display, which is 1920 by 1200. The new graphics card is capable of running GTA V on high settings while maintaining full fluency. To demonstrate it, here are some shots made with both GPUs.
The difference is quite clear, isn't it? Not only graphics are better, but the recording itself as well. The next piece is going to be a little bit of the gameplay. One of the early Michael's missions. The difference here is even more evident than before. The quality of the road, shadows and the environment is drastically better. Just sit back and see for yourself. Just got another creepy text message from Hugh Harrison. That judge on fame or shame? I don't even think he's English. Anyone who says they're from Britain almost certainly isn't. And no one from Britain has teeth like that. She's a biter! He's got my okay. car! Hit the Let's go! As for final conclusions, it is not a surprise that a 6 years old GPU performed worse than a brand new GTX 1070. The thing is that a new graphics card alone makes a huge difference in gaming experience, even in older PC. So, if you have been wondering about upgrading your hardware, but you don't necessarily have money for the whole new set, I strongly recommend to begin with your graphics card. It will make a huge difference, trust me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button, and if you didn't, feel free to use the other one. If you want to be the first one to know about the new video, be sure to subscribe. And if you would like to check out my Twitch channel, go to the link in the description. Stay positive and see you in the next video. Bye!